Hi third graders, Miss Gurman here. So I'm going to go over each page so that you know what to do in Seesaw today. So the first page, it says record your thinking. Where is two-thirds in each model below? Where's the numerator? Where's the denominator? So what do you notice about all of these pictures? How are they alike and how do they all show two-thirds or two out of three? So go ahead and hit the microphone when you get to this page and record your thinking. Then on this page, you're going to press play and listen to Miss Alicia explain fractions on a number line. Then on this page, you are just going to practice coloring fraction circles and writing the fraction. So you're going to listen to read the directions. It says color three parts red. So you're going to get the red marker and you're going to color three of them red. Then it says color four parts blue. So then get blue and color four pieces blue. Two, three, four. And then it says color one part green. So then you're gonna get green and color one part green. So your picture should look like this. Three red, four blue, one green. Now, you're gonna fill out this part. What fraction of the circle is red? Well, three pieces are red, but remember when you write a fraction, you have to have the numerator, the fraction line, and the denominator. How do we know what the denominator is? Oh yeah, the total number of pieces. So what is the total number of pieces in this circle? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three out of eight pieces are red, or three eighths of the circle is red. Now what fraction of the circle is blue? Four pieces. So four, and remember we counted eight total pieces, four eighths is blue. Now what fraction of the circle is green? One out of eight pieces. Okay, so that's how you do this page then. You're gonna read the next part. This one has three total pieces. It says color one part red. So again, get your red marker. Oops, that's pink. Where's red? Here we go. I'm gonna color one in red. One part yellow the rest green. Now what fraction of the circle is red? Remember, do your numerator is one out of, what was the total number of pieces? Three. One out of three is red, or one third. Then on this page, the same thing. Color half of the circle orange. Well, this is confusing because there's four total pieces, but I know half of four is two. So I'm gonna color half of the circle or two of the pieces orange. There's one half. Now it says color one part purple and one part brown. Oops, I'm gonna get brown. And then again over here, I'm gonna write down the fractions. What fraction of the circle is orange? I could say one half or two out of four. What fraction is purple? Well, just one out of four, or one-fourth. What fraction is brown? One out of four, or one-fourth. All right, now try to do this one on your own. On this page, this is where we're learning about fractions on a number line. So what you have to do is label where would one-fifth go, two-fifths, three-fifths, and four-fifths. You'll notice that this number line is cut into fifths. Let's get our marker here so I can show you. All right, it's one, two, three, four, five. Our number line is cut into five pieces. So it's all fifths. Now what you gotta do is figure out where do the fractions go. Here's the zero, so here is hop one. This is one 
out of five. Then you go to the next one. This is two out of five. And then the next one, three out of five. And then the next one, four out of five or four fifths. We would say one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. So all you need to do is get the marker tool and label these fractions on your own at the correct mark. Now this one is cut into eighths. Look at it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the number line below, label where is one out of eight, three out of eight, five out of eight, and seven out of eight or seven eighths. You might have to count. I know this first one here is one out of eight. Then it's gonna go two, then three out of eight or three eighths. All right, so you're gonna do that one on your own. On page six, some addition practice with regrouping. So do your best, use your strategies. You can use your whiteboard next to you if you need to. Always start in the ones place. What's seven plus eight? Well, I know seven plus seven is 14. So seven plus eight is 15. You're gonna have to bring down the five and regroup the one. Then add the tens place, then add the hundreds place. Do your best to answer A, B, C, and D. And then on the last page is gonna be multiplication practice. It says, get out your whiteboard and marker to practice multiplication. This is kind of a fun activity. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this, oops, click this link, and it's an interactive dice roller. And you're gonna roll the dice and see what numbers you get. Oops, I only want two dice, so I'm gonna click use two dice. Try that again. Why is it doing three? There, try that again. All right, and you wanna pick the numbers that are facing up. So I have six and I have two. So then on your whiteboards, you're gonna solve whatever your dice say. So six times two equals. And then you're gonna use your strategies to figure out how do you solve six times two. Well, I'm gonna make equal groups. I'm gonna do two circles and then the other factor was six. So I'm gonna do six dots in each circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got 18. What? No, I need to count that. What's six plus six? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Six times two equals. 12. Make sure you count to double check. And then I'll go back and I'll roll the dice again. All right, I'll erase my whiteboard and now I'm going to do 5 times 4. Okay. And you don't have to write this in Seesaw, you are just practicing multiplication on your whiteboard. 5 times 4 equals, all right, this time I'm going to do 4 groups, and then I'm going to put 5 in each one. All right, play this game as many times as you want, and then when you're all done, go ahead, you can take a picture of your whiteboard to show Miss Gurman that you did some problems, and then hit the green check mark when you're finished.